Obtaining input. After defining the service and completing service design, it is useful to get some inputs and reflections from outsiders. This provides different perspectives from wide range of individuals, from potential users to experts, before the service is actually implemented. Crowdsourcing is one way of obtaining inputs. There are many different definitions of crowdsourcing. According to Jeff Howe, it is the act of taking a job traditionally performed by a designated agent, usually an employee, and outsourcing it to an undefined, generally large group of people in the form of an open call. Coordinating a large group of people on the web to do small contributions that solves problems which cannot be solved by a software or one individual. Obtaining information or input into a particular task or project by enlisting the services of a number of people, either paid or unpaid, typically via the Internet. Collaborating with the people who used to be the silent audience to make something better than you could make alone. Crowdsourcing has got three main components. Requester – people who submit tasks or projects and collect answers. Worker – people work on tasks and provide answers. Platform – program used for publishing and managing tasks. Crowdsourcing can be used for many different purposes. For instance, for getting a work done such as translating, logo design, mobile app testing, data verification, brand creation. For stimulating action such as crowdfunding, political activism, citizen participation, civic innovation, community improvements. For obtaining input such as idea generation, product feedback, collective brainstorming, problem solving, beta testing. Tasks required through crowdsourcing includes complex tasks such as developing a software, simple tasks such as designing a logo, macro tasks such as testing a mobile app, micro tasks such as labeling an image, to do tasks which computers cannot do, a single person cannot do, can be split into small parts. Tips for crowdsourcing Crowd should be defined. Is it a specific group or everyone? Where can you find your crowd? How can you best reach this crowd? Message to the crowd should be clear. The crowd must understand what you are asking. It should not be interpreted differently. Process should be described. Describe how the whole process works. Define all steps in the process, such as contribution, selection, voting. A deadline should be given. The reward system should be explained. What you will give back to the crowd. Questions of the crowd should be answered. Feedback should be provided to contributors. There should be a minimal barrier to entry. Phases in crowdsourcing process are as follows. Define the task. Ask question. Define the service or project. Choose crowdsourcing platform. Publish your project, tasks, and wait for answers. Aggregate answers. When crowdsourcing used properly, it generates new ideas, cuts development costs, creates a direct and emotional bond with customers. For more information on crowdsourcing, you can refer to these sources.